the gym builds major confidence. I'm just going to tell you that right now. I just got back from the gym. I hit me a pool workout, did some lats, like some pull-ups, seated cable rows, uh, bicep curls, stuff like that. Uh, rear delts. Man, I feel real good, man. I just got some Chipotle, and I'm about to tear that ass up. You know what I'm saying? Shit about to be good. You know, I got my workout in, and then I'm going to go out later and do my gig work, do stuff I do. You know what I mean? And I'm going to have a great day today. And, man, that's the attitude you got to have about life. You got to have an attitude like, okay, I'm going to have a good day today. I'm going to make shit happen. I'm going to do what I got to do to go make it happen. You know what I mean? So a lot of times what we do is we walk around here and we feel, you feel very, bro, you feel very depressed. You feel like your life is going nowhere. You feel unhappy, unfulfilled. You feel like you have no purpose, no drive, no energy, no anything. Allow me to explain something, brother. If you a masculine man, which I assume you are, if you watching my videos, if you even subscribe to my channel, if you are a masculine man, or if you are masculine to your core, when I say that, I mean like all the programming and everything else and kind of made you kind of a little soft, you know what I mean? And it made you a little soft and you ain't really in touch with your masculine. Well, if you a masculine man, you thrive off of pain you thrive off of discomfort you thrive off of growth you know what i mean you thrive off of mission purpose direction and you know the feminine thrive more off of flow and love intimacy creativity you know what i mean so as a man masculine man if you ain't controlling your destiny, like trying to write your future, making things go a certain way, then you going to feel a lot of regret. You going to feel a lot of unhappiness. You ain't going to feel like you do anything in this life. If you one of those dudes who sit around, who sit on your ass all day, drink alcohol, or smoke weed or play video games all day watching netflix watching anime if you don't work if you ain't hustling towards anything if you see a beautiful looking woman and you don't go talk to her you need to get up off your ass and go do something with your life because guess what your life gonna continue to pass you and you're gonna be depressed you're gonna be out of it you're gonna be living a life in misery because you ain't taking the necessary steps to be a man you ain't out here doing what you're supposed to do you know what i mean <laughs> you got to get out here and live your life even if that means doing things that make you feel uncomfortable doing things like make it see bro i got major fucking social anxiety you know what I mean? Look at my shit sticking up. <laughs> hey, that's a good sign. I got social anxiety. You know what I mean? And like my social skills used to be trash. I used to have terrible social skills. And recently, like I, I'm like, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I'm very introverted. I'm an introverted ass. <laughs> I can't say that word on here. <laughs> I'm an introverted ass dude You know what I mean And The way I see it is like I don't really be feeling like Getting out of like like talking to people You know getting out of my comfort zone I don't be wanting to like put myself out there Like that And just recently I've been trying to figure out Why the hell am I So down Why am I so like Just not feeling good you know what i mean why do i lack drive why do i don't have no energy 
Well, I found out what that is. Now, I have a strong desire to, to connect with people. I do. I want to work on my social skills. I want to, you know, just interact with people, make new friends, you know what I mean, in general, right? But sometimes I struggle with that. And I just realized that I ain't getting out of my comfort zone. I ain't really experiencing any discomfort. So that means like talking to women, like not just talking to women, but more so being social, making small talk with people. You know what I mean? Because that makes life much more vibrant when you make small talk with people. When you say, hey, how you doing? Or how's your day going? Or, you know what I mean? Just say something about the weather. You know what I mean? You just say small things, you know? And it kind of, it, it, it boosts you. It, it makes you feel better. It gives you more social confidence and then what you're going to start to realize is that, man, I really hope I run into somebody just so I can make small talk with them because I really want to, you know what I'm saying, be social. The more you keep doing it, man, the more reps you get in, then the more better you're going to feel. You're going to, man, you're going to be killing the game, brother. You know, you're going to be, you, man, you're going to be, you're going to be the man. You're going to be the Donis. Donis. You know what I mean? So you got to keep on doing that. If you think about it, it's kind of like the gym. You know, when you go into the gym, you basically just want to lift like light. You don't want to lift heavy right off the rip, you know, because if you lift heavy right off the rip, then you're going you gonna to quit. You ain't going to want to go back. So it's kind of like that. When you think about social skills or talking to women, making friends, you got to think about it like, okay, well, I'm just going to do something small. I'm going to start off small, right? I'm losing my voice, man. Losing my damn voice. But, you know what I mean? You're going to start off small. Just say something to somebody. Don't matter what it is. Just say, hey, are you using that piece of equipment in the gym? Like, it's easy. It, like, <laughs> what, what's somebody going to do? Get, get mad at you for asking you that question? You know? And, and, like, when you be, you know how you will, you know, you you see that girl or you see that dude or you know you, you just want to speak to somebody right you just want to talk to him you want to say something and then your brain starts saying ah oh, nah man i don't know about that man i don't, I, ain't, I ain't even trying to do that man and it's what i think that's what i think in my head when i when, like when my brain start giving me these excuses and shit i'll be like what the hell is the worst thing they can do what's the worst thing they can do bruh what you scared of? What the hell you scared of, bro? What they gonna do to you? <laughs> Worst they can do is say no or be rude to you. And if they do that, God got you. You know what I mean? So you ain't got nothing to lose. So it's like, just go for it. I mean, as long as you don't say something creepy or weird or stupid, you know what I'm saying? And you'll be good. But I look at it like this. The more you work on yourself, the, wor the more you like, you eat healthy and you try to improve yourself, and like positive self-talk positive self-talk go a long way and i just not noticed that people gonna treat you based off of how you treat yourself so if you ain't taking care of yourself and you ain't taking care of your body and people ain't gonna wanna like they not gonna treat you good either and now we already know a very great way to <laughs> treat yourself good and improve yourself take care of yourself is going to the gym you know what i'm saying getting a, a really nice looking physique Bit, just all that stuff skin care your hair your like your mental like I, I mean like meditating becoming more present uh prayer and all that but you really want to take care of the fitness and the way that you look especially your body your body you got you got ample amounts of control over the way your body looks i don't care about what they didn't said about these damn genetics or nothing like that you can change your body and scope it into a way that like you're gonna be proud of yourself you're gonna have more confidence you're gonna feel better it's gonna benefit your mental and everything else gonna follow behind that because guess what 
I don't care what any of these clowns online, on YouTube, on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, I don't care what none of these clowns be saying. Your body is very important. Shut up about facial structure and all that bullshit. Yeah, it plays a part in it. You got to take care of yourself. You got to do skincare. A lot of y'all, a lot of you just walk around with crunch bar face. You don't even wash your face or do your beard or you look like a, a homeless person or something like that, right? That stuff matter too. Don't get me wrong. You got to brush your teeth and all that. But that's like, that. that's just like normal. We know that. You, you don't got to watch a YouTube video to know that shit, right? But what you got to do, you got to take care of your body because that's the first thing people see. Your body is, is literally like a representation of your discipline levels, how much, how, how much you taking care of yourself. You know what I'm saying? The fact that I'm fit, that means I'm taking care of myself. I'm taking real good care of myself, right? And that's going to make you more confident. Point blank, case closed. <laughs> I don't care what nobody say. But hey, if you on your fitness journey, it's going to take you a while. Like, it's going to take you a long time. But you know what? You know how they say there ain't no shortcuts? There is a shortcut. There's a shortcut. Now, I didn't went through this myself. I ain't take the shortcut. But now I know, in effect, the best shortcut to getting jacked and lean is training efficiently and eating the right foods and eating enough, getting recovery, all that stuff. That's the shortcut. Because the long way is doing shit the wrong way. <laughs> that shit wrong. You know what I mean? So, there's... Plenty of ways to get your physique in order. But there's like a way that I train, you know what I mean? I, I do a 12-week program. I split it up into four weeks where I'm different. I'm doing different rep ranges, doing different like uh, types of, of weights and everything. One for endurance and stabilization, another for hypertrophy, and another for like power and strength. And that just benefits your entire body. That helps you in all areas. You want to be functional in all areas. You want to be strong. You want to be able to move, you know, mobility. You want that mobility, right? And then you want to look good, aesthetic. So there's ways I train in order to do that. And I learn how to do that by myself. Well, not by myself, but I learned it, you know, through trial and error, right? But I guess, you know, whatever, right? But hey, if you want to do it by yourself, it's going to take you years on years to do that. But... You can speed up the process a little bit, you know, it'll take you about, it'll take you six months tops to see you, a, to see a change. I can't talk right now. To see a change in your physique. You know what I mean? 12 weeks or less, you can get jacked and I can help you do that. I make, I'll make you a workout routine and a meal plan, how much to eat, when to eat, all that good stuff. And keep you accountable because everybody knows that the most important thing about gaining muscle building aesthetic physique is consistency being consistent you know what i mean that's basically what it's all about and that's what i got here over for you so uh yeah hey you enjoyed this video. Oh, yeah. By the way, if you're interested in my one-on-one -on -one coaching program, click the link below. Uh, fill out your info and your goals, and we going to get set, and we going to get you right. You know what I mean? We'll do a little call, a one-on-one -on -one Zoom call, something like that, and then we're going to get right. All right, bet. You know what I'm saying? All right. My name is Raheem the Goat. You found this video helpful. Make sure you like comment, subscribe, and never give up. Your younger sales rooting for you. Peace.